What are your opinions on immigration rights for people who would like to live here and make Fort Collins their home? We have to have, <laughs> I mean, it's just such a no brainer. You know, the federal government has to have immigration reform. I mean, uh, look at me, I start rubbing my jaw because it's just, again, something we're so bad at. And it is something where there's, um, uh, well, you know, I spent a lot of time in rural areas. There is a, yes, they want immigration reform too, right? People are here, they're working, they're contributing to our tax base. They're part of our communities. Um, they're a valuable part, they're a vital part, right? We're a nation of immigrants. I mean, I don't know how we've gone so sideways on that. Um, I know there's some notion that Fort Collins is kind of full and that um, some people don't really want any more people here. Um, but I can't imagine being a person where um, you needed a home and you couldn't have one. You didn't have a spot, right? And I think um, people will leave their homelands when they're either driven out, out of desperation, right? And we need to be a welcoming country to that. I, I have a little radical bone in my body because I don't, um, probably goes too far <laughs> and it wouldn't be agreed upon, but, um, you know, the boundaries we have in our globe are just political boundaries. And those are decided upon through purchases, wars, and whatever else, right? Takeovers. If you just open your mind to the thinking about where people belong, they belong where they are and want to go. Um, I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to remove all political boundaries, but I think about that, right? You know, we lived in Mozambique when Zimbabwe was just absolutely going through, Mugabe is just the worst, right? And uh, refugees coming, flooding over the border into Mozambique, which is one of the poorest countries in the world. That tells you how bad it was in Zimbabwe, walking for hundreds of miles. I mean, people will take huge human risk because their situation is so dire. And I think that um, we need to respect that, honor that, and uh, be welcoming.